Your biggest rivalry, Paul, was Tam McGraw. You're the biggest rivalry in Glasgow between you two at one point. How did that start? There, there was no real rivalry. You can't. It, there, I, I knew about Tam McGraw before I met him. I knew he was a grass before I met him. And I knew I had to be careful with saying anything and run about him. So, an adversary, no for that start, no even for, for, for a metal. Uh, might have had a lot of money, but you take away some of the stuff that he'd been involved in, uh, like, like the Doyle murders, uh, two innocent guys, several innocent people getting convicted at it. Tommy Campbell ended up being related to me, married my, my cousin. Uh, and, and I always felt a rerun, it, it, that misfortune, but a big fucking lumpy guy like Tommy going on hunger strike, he'd done it to seven stone to prove his innocence. Fighting his corner all away, and then you get this slippery bastard, McGraw, the fucking snake, I called him. And I, and I, I tried to say it in one word, and I couldn't say it in one word, so I'll repeat it again, he's a fucking snake. And people now know what he done, and so did the coppers very early on, know what he's done. So you can't have a drugs war on ice cream fans when it was fuck all to do with drugs. It was to do with ice cream fans. It was to stop people doing their runs. And it was a personal dispute. So the rivalry, we might got the news, what he was all about, he was a dog. And it was just one of these things where newspapers play up to it. Mr. Big this, Mr. Big that. Mm -hmm. We only tolerated him because he had a fucking pub. That was all that. When Joe Hanlon was working with him. So, and I moved into an area thinking I was going away for D division. <laughs> ended up going for the frying pan right into the fucking fire. But mm -hmm. apparently mine at Tam Vegan at the time, he made sure I was all right there. I'll, I'll not forget Tam for that. Mm -hmm. And I always will. So Tam doesn't like getting mentioned and things like that. But I, I've got to mention this and, and wish him well and good luck and mm -hmm. what he's doing. Aye, uh, the, the, so the papers... Tam Vegan, that is no Tam Vegan. Uh, so the papers blew up because I've had Joe Steele on and mm. uh, TCO and they spent over 20 years in prison yep. for a crime they didn't commit. Mm -hmm. um, seen loved ones dying well in prison but, but it's on that stuff. aspect James I know I've seen your podcast right mm -hmm. you think he, the police intelligence gathering do you think they never knew they never done it of course they did of course they did I. but it went against how they teed up their crown witness Billy Love that all of a sudden was on remand for a robbery and they accepted the fact that he'd been identified as a fucking robber and now all of a sudden he couldn't have been on the robbery because he's sitting in the barge pub listening to Tommy Camel talking about lighting the fire. Mm -hmm. So they knew. They knew, they trusted that. Big case, man, that all these years on, the Doyle family still haven't got any closure as well. James, it's one of the one of the situations where Tommy Campbell and Joe Steele always maintained their integrity all the way through it because it wasn't for them to point fingers to people and say, I never done it, they fucking done it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I'd have let them walk about, to be honest with you, but... He, he did. Uh, he was a. He was a. I'll not keep going on it, but he's not here now. Uh, anyway, that's but, the sh that shows but, you the strength of Joe, well, Joe and TC, two uh, well, strong it, it, men. It shows you the, the hold that McGraw had over these coppers because mm -hmm. they couldn't let him talk because it's going to expose all the rest of them for mm -hmm. fitting up uh, Joe, uh, Joe Steele and Tommy and, and Big Tamby and all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. With, uh, Joe Granger. A lot of people were unnecessarily put through the mill with that one. And it's bad enough going to prison for something that you've done. I've never been to prison for something that I've never done. I'd like to make that clear as mm -hmm. well. But I don't know if I'd have been able to go to prison for something I didn't do. Mm -hmm. It's a different ball game, different that, ball isn't it, Because I would have got involved in something. I don't think I'd have got out, James. It's quite obvious I don't. Mm -hmm. I'd have probably done something in there, going to court and say, yeah, I've done that, but I've never done this. Aye. That's the mentality they mm -hmm. push you into. 